Hello, I'm Anjali, a young leader from Kilgars Association Malaysia. I am part of a unit called Open Company, which are made up of girls aged 7 to 17 and leaders aged 18 years and above. As COVID-19 numbers are still high in the country, we have been placed under a conditional movement order control, kind of like a semi-lockdown, and are unable to have our regular guide meetings in person. Due to this, we have decided to run virtual events for our girls to keep them actively engaged. We have taken this year's 16 days of activism activity pack and adapted it for our virtual event. Our first, first session ran on the 22nd of November, and we have two more upcoming sessions. I'm now going to pass it on to my fellow leader, Alisa. Hi, I'm Alisa Alexander, a District Brownies Commissioner. As we are all hit by the pandemic, new norms have surfaced. Malaysia is currently undergoing partial lockdown and face-to-face -face events are restricted. However, we still wanted to reach out to our girls. Hence, we made it happen virtually for many events, including this 16 days of activism. Throughout the planning and execution process, we practice the wax leadership mindset, especially collaborative mindset and creative and critical thinking mindset. We had to work as a team from various locations, brainstorming ideas and creating the materials. Some of us worked individually, some worked as a pair. But at the end of the day, we came together as a team. Thanks to technology, using Google as a platform here, we managed to do that efficiently. On the day of the event, the leaders co-facilitated sessions as girls were divided into smaller groups. We were all on board with the same wide and adequate knowledge of the activity pack that made it easier to deliver the sessions. Creating materials for a virtual event needed most of us to think out of the box. It is inevitable that technology is the way to connect us to the world, but we had to be mindful of the content that we were creating as well as picking the best platform for the event. Leaders designed their own story cards using Canva, interactive quizzes using AHA slides, video embedded from YouTube, and even designing their own game show. I personally did an internet search for fun activities to do during a virtual event to connect the participants and it pushed me to use new engaging and interactive platforms. There's always a risk with connection stability and I had a backup plan if that happened. So planning a virtual event such as this definitely pushed us out of our comfort zone because we wanted to connect personally with the girls to create a safe and trusty space. And at the same time, having fun while making an impact. Now, passing on to another young leader to share her experience. Hi everyone, my name is Inara. I'm a Clover Guide and an alumni of the Open Company Unit who came back to help my fellow sisters in guiding for this virtual event. The process of preparing for this event was tedious, but thankfully it was organized, thanks to Grace, Tammy, and the rest of the leaders. Since everything is online, we use platforms such as Zoom, WhatsApp, and Google Sheets, Drive, Docs, and Slides to plan the event accordingly. Through these platforms, we brainstormed, scheduled, divided the work equally, and made sure that everyone did their part before the event started. We managed to come together as a unit, even though we were from different locations across the globe. I would say that coordination and communication were the key aspects in ensuring that the event went smoothly because everyone had to be aware at all times to help each other out. This event proved as a new experience to many of us and with it, we overcame many challenges. There were some technical difficulties involved, but at times it was tough to get engagement from the girls. It's amazing how different the presence of a webcam and a functioning microphone could be. It made me miss the times when an event like this could be held physically where interaction was face-to-face -face and definitely less lonely. However, I am thankful that despite us being separated, we still managed to come together in unison for a cause, and I'm always amazed at how girl guides can pull off such tasks. This event was a stepping stone, and I can't wait to see what other things we can achieve as a unit in the near future. 
Next, I'll be passing the floor on to my friend Daini to tell you about her experience during the event. Thank you. Hi, my name is Daini and I'll be sharing my experience through the event. So this event is an opportunity for me to know other girls, girl guides from all around the world. Besides that, I love this virtual event of 16 Day of Activism because I got to be sharing my thoughts and get to know each other. The way a person deals with a problem or situation is different because of their level of knowledge, experience, and culture. Through this event, we share a lot of opinions and have gained more knowledge and know on how to use more appropriate platforms to help other friends who are facing violence. But what I liked most was when we were on our respective breakout room and share on how to spread our pledge. I also got more ideas besides just posting it on social media and now I know there is something that we should we should not share to on social media to stop the violence. So now I'll be share I'll just move on to my friend Afrina to share her experience. Hello everybody, my name is Afrina and I'm a girl guide from Open Company Malaysia. I really like this event because it is handled virtually although it's COVID times and we still could connect with guides all over the world. And for this campaign, it's to send a clear message to women and girls during 16 days of activism that they are not to be blamed or the violent for the violence they experience. The activity that I like the most is the scenario activity. In this activity, we discuss what to do towards certain negative scenarios. I really like that I can express and say my thoughts and opinion because I usually talk about this topic in school with a few of my friends but sadly not all of them have the same thinking as I do. It's tough to change the mentality of people but I believe we can make a change if we start slowly but strongly. Thank you. Thank you so much Afrina. Hi everyone, I'm Tammy. I'm the International Commissioner for Girl Guides Association Malaysia and also one of the volunteers for the unit. Besides engaging members with online virtual events, Girl Guides Association Malaysia also created an online platform for our members to do the activity pack on their own pace. We created a Google Drive for members to download the learning passport and all the other relevant materials so they can explore and complete the activity pack offline. How? I will let one of our 11 years old brownies, Mia, to show you how she did it while staying safely at home. Mommy, I bought la. I want to do something fun. Hmm, I think 16 days of activism is around the corner. Why don't you go check out the wife and go back to Malaysia face to face? Maybe they have something there. Oh, okay. I'll have a look. Oh, look. They have a learning pack to download. Oh, they have a code too. I'll scan it. It looks interesting. So after Mia uploaded her activity file to the drive, my team and I would check their work and issue an e-certificate to the participants. I personally enjoy reading their reflections. As an organization with more than 250,000 members, it is impossible to reach out to every single member during this challenging time. But we can do our best to create more channels to make things possible for our girls. So what do you think? I think it's possible to run these events virtually. 
look at Mia. She's only 11 years old and able to do, do these activities easily. Here's this year's poster and the WAGS website link for you to access it. Download it and get started. That's all from us. Hope, to, hope you enjoy the activity pack. Bye. Bye. Bye.